Well, let's, let's get talking now. Mr. Ambrose Omodion is Chief Research Officer in Vezda Consulting Limited. He joins me live here in the studio. Thank you for joining us, Ambrose Omodion. We appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm sure by now you, you are smiling, uh, perhaps, because you've been on this show uh, that many times and we look at how... Uh, what, what was the expectation, the expectations of investors in the equities market ahead of the MPC meeting? Now, the MPC meeting uh, is gone, I will say. But let's start. Um, are we beginning to see the impact of that decision in the market, given the performance of the equities market on Tuesday? Yeah, actually, it's a reflection of uh, the outcome of the, the institution of uh, you know, the committee voting to, to high create with almost... Uh, 150 points in a stretch. I'll mm -hmm. tell you, this has really, you know, kind of uh, you know, hit many investors in the market because naturally it is CBN or Monsieur that set the tone of interest. And when it is high, you know, mm -hmm. the bank fund, funds are bound to leave equity market to what to the fixed income market, market and all those uh, uh, treasury be and not on that. But for me, I would say that the MPC committee will just uh, sacrifice economic growth on the altar of uh, attracting uh, you know, foreign investors at the same time managing uh, the money bag uh, policy system in Nigeria. Because they are thinking that you know, because of the being pre-election year, yes, mm -hmm. we have seen how much I've been used you know, for many Nigerians that are interested in most of the position, uh, position politically used to buy the form alone. And was more than almost 30 billion has come out from somewhere just because to get the form to participate. That means we expect this form liquidity to be. That is why personally I was thinking that it's too early for you know, for the committee to vote for rate uh, increase because one, the economic recovery is still very fragile. Then if you are not sacrificing the economic you know, recovery that you will be preaching, that, that mm -hmm. is where you want to normalize the supply and order to because already what is happening in the economy is not because you have too much liquidity that is causing inflation. Inflation is cost push inflation because of high high cost of energy and other stuff. Now if you are also increasing cost of fund, mm -hmm. automatically we are opened up for, for people to lose their job. Because they are, you know, many companies that cannot afford to take all this will start laying them, you know, in laying you know, off. off. And that will not, you know, not contribute to water. And, and at the same time, also, you look at what state of the economy are we now? You know, if you look at the, the recent uh, GDP figure that was released for first quarter, we saw a decline. Your, your productivity as a nation is declining. Your interest rate is on the increase. Your inflation is on the increase. At what are you trying to achieve? That's why I said at this you know, stage of the economy, I say, you know, in the uh, economy, we have uh, almost five you know, phases of the economy. We have the early expansion, mid expansion, and late expansion. We have the early contraction and late contraction. As we speak now, with what you know, we saw yesterday, the increment, you know, or the hike in the rate and the interest rate um, inflation looking up and the you know, productivity from the GDP declining. We're already entering uh, the, you know, the, the, the life stage of uh, expansion. That means at this stage, you no, know, it is this stage of when we're not the investor where they should look at because I tell you that in any situation mm -hmm. there's always opportunity. So as to play safe. Yes, always opportunity for you to make money. Now that we are seeing inflation is on, 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 on the rise and the interest rate also in that direction, productivity in terms of uh, GDP is already down because your industrial output, your national output is right. down because look at the GDP for for Q, yeah, for Q1, we have a decline of about uh, you know uh, 0 0.87 point down from uh, you know, Q4 about the 3.98 to mm, 3.11. That, that means you can see if you are kind of uh, surviving the economic growth and recovering, because if you really want to engage people, your economy will be doing well, business activities will also that as a business expand, they engage more people, that will also help you to also fight insecurity. But now on the other of attracting a foreign investor, and also there's another good way, um, good opportunity in that angle. But at this time, I believe that we should wait to see the outcome of the primaries, and then in the second half of the year, but now moving from just you no, know, mm. a whole 150 point for me is you no, know, is you know, it's so it, high. It's so high. And also, if you want to trade the, the part of the global, you know, central bank that are really increasing rate, none of them has increased rate with 100 points. Highest mm. was 50 point. No, 25, 25. I was thinking that especially if, the likes of the US, 50, which did yeah, this yeah. at 50 basis well, yeah. points. Yeah, if if we have increased our own at 25 point to watch and see because as to speak now. Yes, the only thing that will kind of save most of the sector is that, you know, at the meeting they said those you know, critical sectors that have intervened will still enjoy 5% you know, interest rate mm. in 2023 March. And that is why also investors in the market should also look at this information that you also need to guide you. But, but can we look at this good side? Yes, the interest rate for uh, some sector, critical sectors like agri, of okay. course, is being tapered to single-digit rates. Yeah. But can we capitalize and explore that area 
to buttress or augment the shortfall uh, on the other side, given the fact that they are trying to sacrifice economic growth uh, to to this uh, to the interests of uh, foreign portfolios. Well, if you look at the the NPR, that dictates where foreign flow to. The one you have done is for that intervention you have done. This uh, like I call it uh, at the back you are trying to make the economy work, but with the you know, NPR, that is where every interest in Nigeria should tie to. Anything that means, you no, know, now banks will be smiling, no matter, because, you know, this also will help banks, you know, the interest, uh, treasury will look up, I you know their yeah, interest, uh, interest, net interest income will look up, and all those stuff. Mm -hmm. But I believe that in any situation, there is opportunity in the market. That's why I said, investors in the market should not panic. They, this is what we are seeing, I just panic for the, for the uh, announcement and all those stuff. But I believe before now, more on Friday, to normalize, because there is still opportunity. Because if at the end of the day, no, for me, inflation, inflation will come and across seventeen or almost to eighteen. You no, know, again, you no, know, all those fixed income, you no know, instrument mm -hmm. already are already in, you know, in re, in, in re negative return. And I mean, that negative return already for them. Or if it also increase to eighteen, it's a trade. Right. There, but in equity, there are some stocks or some companies you can use to add inflation because so those companies are also successfully push their price toward mm -hmm. to the consumers, and that will impact the. But any, if you look at for me, I believe that that is what investors should look at. Don't mm -hmm. allow the the the, uh, the hike to. But if you push out of a position, but if you are in profit, I will, I will say you should not work. cash your profit out. But if you are in a position, just wait. Not just selling and coming back because I will that with time it will normalize. The, the big players in the market, which are the PFEs or fund managers and those stuff, they also know how to adjust their position because they know that even with the uh, uh, 150 point uh, increase, if inflation also moves to 18, it has also no kind of uh, water. The, the the increment because your real return is already in negative as inflation goes up your real return is in negative for that you need to find a balance in your portfolio but if the inflation goes up for instance let's say for next no 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 that, that, no, no, that uh, not for instance we are seeing there because mm. the, the way you've increased your your interest uh, your interest, interest rate, rate expect that you know energy yeah it will also go in that direction and now that there will be what kind of a uh, cost of uh, you know call, uh, phone has increased it's also going to come and push the uh, price of goods mm. up I know you talked about, uh, I mean, investors who have to look for a way to play safe in the market. Yeah. If you look at yesterday, all, all the sectors, almost all the major sectors from consumer goods to insurance, all of them are running southward at the moment. So I'm just wondering, I mean, where exactly will investors play safe at this time, given the fact that from industrial goods to consumer goods, oil and banking, they are all running southward. Yeah, so speak, you know, the, the, the announcement was made yesterday. It's expected that there will be reaction, sell off, but then even today, this morning, we expect mm -hmm. that. But I tell you, between now and Friday, you know, analysis will come, the, the PFS will analyze, individual analyze what will be the part you know, on the long run. Then, if inflation, you know, also tick up as we expect, and naturally it's going to touch around the 1750 or 1780. If it happen for the month of May, then what will be the, you know, these are the things you want to look at. Yes, which sector, like, I'll tell you that. This time, you are not just to invest for investing. Right. You, you look for what we call a uh, commodity back stocks or assets that you know that, yeah, this company are into this and the boss of this. This is where you because at the end of the day, if they are making money, because I tell you, on the short run, the long run, it is earnings of a company that what that impact price. Mm. Uh, well, it's earnings of a company that uh, impact price. Uh, well, um, let's look at some of the top gainers for Tuesday's trading session. Uh, Japan Gold is one of them with about, um, you know, three, uh, three Kobo, that's about 10% uh, mm -hmm. there. You have um, the um, Academy, you have MRS, uh, and you have a quite number of them uh, as well. You also have um, um, some microfinance bank in that category there. So uh, do we expect this trend to continue, given the fact that market is experiencing you know, uh, a bearish uh, moment at the moment. Actually, as you just said, market are pulled back for three days, and we saw the, the high momentum yesterday that market lost about 1.82. Uh, Today, I see that that uh, mode will still be in the market, but on a reduced uh, you know, you know, magnitude for me, it will be not as high as what we saw yesterday, because now, mm. instead of looking at where can I place the one of the store, but I believe that, yes, market will react between now, as I said earlier, to Friday, all this news will be normalized. Analysis coming ahead, then different view. Yes, another thing, when you increase the interest rate, yes, they're about to encourage savings, uh, which also uh, go to investment. But on this, oh, look at what is happening in the economy. Does the increase in rate, you know, impact, you know, economy positively? If your effort is to make sure that the economy is expanding, with this, you know, how much high cost of, uh, you know, interest, automatically cost of fund has increased. At the same time, 
you know, people want to also reduce the cost because if they, they're able to make profit that will cover the cost, they start falling down their business in the process. People you know, also will leave their job. And for me, I think let's see how the CBM. I know that they are thinking they are trying to manage uh, right. you know, the, the money bag uh, policies you have here because of liquidity will come from election, also to attract uh, foreign investors. But I tell you, because being pre election year, Mm -hmm. I see no foreign investor coming direct na to Nigeria now. They want to see the outcome of the election with what is happening in Ukraine. And also, if you look at the mature economy, you can see that the fixed income market is becoming attractive for them. They can't come here and, and take risk investing in, in equity now. You're knowing that even when they are coming, going as right. a problem because of our foreign exchange management strike. For me, that if you are using the, the, the increment to entice foreign investors, I tell you, they are, they are not coming. Mm. But can we depend on the domestic players to, to perhaps uh, become more active in this market? Perhaps that will, of course, cushion the effect or impact of uh, this inflation, I mean, a bigger part of interest rate in the market. Like I just said, I said the uh, increment in interest rate will, will help also to encourage um, savings, savings and come to investment. Mm. We agree. But how many people are really investing? Have you done enough education to educate Nigerians on how to invest in equity market, even in the bond market? That's why we need a financial inclusion. You need to go beyond the uh, either on the just talking, talking. Mm. Are you meeting those uh, informal people? How do they know to invest? Because if they know, you've been going to other positions, can only other skin to invest. If you understand that how this market can help them to grow their wealth, they will come here. But need to understand it first. I not tell you that if you want to educate, uh, you know, the man on the streets how to invest in equity, but it's not the same pattern you use to educate, um, to teach somebody that has been CIS that want to work in a stock working firm. I know that means you should have a model. Even the regulators should know that it's not just being on the Zoom to teach people how they get in it. How right. can you get, you know, in touch with them? What language do they use, you know, to reach them? These are the things we should do so that we can employ, kind of engage more people to, to participate in equity in mm -hmm. the stock market or in the financial okay. world. Give us your life chart, uh, perhaps the direction for the market for today. Um, if, it, for instance, Guinness uh, uh, was in the red with about uh, nine naira eighty kobo lost yesterday. Global um, spectrum uh, was also in the red as well. We've seen that, uh, you know, that stock on the Guinness chart in recent time, but back in the red yesterday. You have Mansard, uh, Charm, very state uh, capital also in the red at yesterday. So. What is likely to happen? You know, Take us through the technical analysis for today. For for me, for the market, uh, let's start from the general market. If you look at the general market, I will mm -hmm. tell you that the 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 chart is saying uh, the market is still on uh, is still bleeding as we speak now. If you look at the chart, now I can see this black pullback. Market has you now come below the T line, which I tell you that T line is a very strong line. Once market is below T line, it tells you that market has confirm another decline stage. That means market mm -hmm. have entered the decline phase of the market. Like we tell you that market has a you know four phase, the acquisition phase, markup phase, distribution and decline. Now the market in decline before you as an investor, you need to wait to see where the market will form a strong support level, you cannot jump in. But market is still pulling back. You can see the black uh, you know candlestick here. Blue one, this is uh, really a bear situation yesterday and it has last for three days. You can see, you know, and also market has tested this uh, as high as a uh, 53, you know, seven or something before pulling back, and market is already below 52,000 mark. For me, it's a time for investors to be very careful because market is already correcting, pulling back. Wait to see a strong support level before you can jump in. But use this opportunity also to you know, take advantage of the market. If you're in profit, sell off now and wait to find a good entry. As you just said, let's look at what happened in Guinness. Look at Guinness start yesterday. You also also in a in a red situation, pullback, profit taking hit the stock, lost almost ten percent. And this is a stock that have rallied you know, to push if, if you can see the candle, you can see the height of uh, appreciation. For me, it's not bad that people are taking profit. But you that want to trade the stock, watch also exactly where will be the right place for you to jump in. Because after you that you don't catch a fall a fallen knife because it will wound you. Wait for the life to land first before you take position. That means now the market is pulling back, wait for the mm -hmm. market to find a support level and then you cannot jump in. Well, I think we'll just have to, uh, you know, leave it there. Thank you so much, uh, Ambrose Modern Chief Research Officer, Investor Consulting Limited. Well, thank you for coming on Business Breakfast. Thanks for having me.